Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Wish you were there. Wish I was there. Wish you were here. Wish we were in class. But we're not. So we're going to make the best of it. And we're going to do some work. I have a sculpture idea today for us. Um, and it has to do with our roles. So hopefully you might have a couple of those around. If not, I'm going to give you some other ideas of things that you can use. You could use um, plastic cups, paper cups, um, those kinds of things. Um, I'll send you a little list of other items that you can add into your sculpture. Now, um, a couple things you're going to need. I only have three of these. One of the rolls you'll see, I found some old oil pastels. Yay! So I was able to color this one first. I'll show you how I did it. I just did it like using the side of the cray pot for the oil pastel. And then I was able to color it. Now, you may not want to color it first. That's okay. It's really up to you. But it's easier to color it before we cut than after. So why don't, why don't you watch this video first, see what you want to do, make some decisions, and then watch it again, and then um, make your sculpture, depending on the decisions that you make regarding color and all the things that you want to add. Now, um, I have three options for this um, sculpture, depending on what you have at home. I do not have white glue, um, the runny glue, so but I do have glue sticks, tape works, and I also have this little stapler. So those things will work just fine, and I'll show you how to use each one of those. Um, so this sculpture is um, going to be kind of a expressionist sculpture. It is um, using different shapes, and I'll show you what we're going to do with this. So you could do, you're just going to cut, so for example, I just did this one. It's about that wide, and I still have it as a circle. So I'm just going to make some. Now, one of the decisions that you could make is you want all of your circles to be the same width. That's fine. Or you could make the decision that you want them to have different widths. Okay? It's really up to you. I'm just doing it kind of randomly which means my sizes are going to be different. So these are similar, not quite the same, but you can see how fun the cool, the way that's colored can be kind of fun. So I just did my first two. Now I want to show you a couple options with just this shape. Let me get a bigger shape so you can see it. So you can keep it just as this circle, which is a fine shape, and just do the entire thing with these circles. But one nice thing with cardboard, as you know, is that if you wanted to, you could even manipulate it a little bit. So let's say I want my shapes to each have their own shape. So I could do this one, maybe this side goes in, and then maybe another one here, one that goes out. So you can kind of do um, experiment a little bit. See how that one's kind of kind of funky. Okay, and then leave some that are just circles. So what's going to happen is this. So I put my paper here. It's kind of slanted so you can see it. And it's a good way to kind of experiment with what design you want to use. Now one of the easy ways to do this is just set up the, the, the pieces next to each other and see how you like it. So I'm gonna lift up the computer so that you can see the, the top, the way it looks up here, okay? So, let me move that around. So let's say I really like these two pieces together. Now I can either use, as you know, use my white glue stick, which is not a bad idea. Put some glue in there, put them together, and then just put them back down till it holds. Okay, since I'm using oil pastels, it's not going to be the best type of material to use to keep them together. So I could also, my staple is kind of funky, but I think I can get a staple in there. So you can always do a little staple and then just fix the shape once you're done. Okay. And then you can put it right back. Okay, um, I'll do one, let's do one with tape. 
So let's say I want, I like that. So I want it to go like this. You could always, as you know, you all know how to use tape real easy, but it depends on what mom and dad and anyone, the adults at home have. So it may be better to use staples. I don't really know, but you can tape that that way. I'm just gonna staple it just because it's a little bit more secure. Now, let me just finish this whole little part of this sculpture right here. Because I do have two more tubes. Now, this one I've just shown you is flat, right? It's just laying down on this paper, just like that, which is completely fine. Okay. Now, one of the things that you can can do, sorry about that, is oh, I have one more. It's actually you could place one going this way. You could start building upwards. So that's an option as well. Okay. So let's say I wanted to start building upwards. I could either do it there. I could even just do it by itself over here. Uh oh, yeah, and it just rolls away. So you gotta be careful. Okay. It's pretty awesome. Kind of like it. I don't think the staple's gonna work for this one since it's going the other way. I don't think I can sneak it in there, but I do know that I can sneak a piece of tape in. Okay. Oh, that didn't work too well. Two pieces of tape. Oh, better. Better. So as you keep working, all these darn foil pastels don't want to stick for me today. See, even teachers have a hard time sometimes with art. It's very, very unpredictable sometimes. That's okay. Do the best we can. All right, let's see if, if, if I got it. I think so. So now, one of the things that you can do is, a this is another variation. I'm gonna cut this, this piece like this, and then we've done this before. Um, if you, any of you remember making spiders, we cut the bottom, remember we had all those legs? So this is something that you can do that will make a really cool effect. See how I cut all of those? And then you press them like this, and then that can add, as a piece, something really cool on top of your sculpture. And then you would staple it or glue it, whatever one works for you. I'm gonna staple this one. Oopsie, it's getting hard. Gotta be patient. Oh, cool, that's looking nice. Here, I'll show you the top. Okay, so that's another option as far as the way you cut the, um, the tube. You can also, there's another thing you can do, is cut the circle and then actually cut it into a strip. And you can twist it and make any kind of shape you want, right, and, and add it on to your sculpture if you can see that or not so there's a lot of different things you can start adding let's see if i can get a staple in there okay. there we go so for colors if you have paint, that's something good to do. Um, markers are fine, but remember you're using cardboard and it's pretty thin cardboard. So if you're using paint, you don't wanna put a, a bunch of paint on it so that it's really wet because then it won't keep the shape of, of the cardboard of the tube, okay? So I don't want you to have just wet cardboard that you can't make a sculpture with. 
okay? So one thing I could also do is turn it this way. So this way it's flat on the paper. You could also, if it gets a little heavy though this way, so you kind of want to balance it out maybe with a little bit of a piece right here. So that way it won't, it won't, over, it won't fall over. But you can go up, up, up in any way you want to. So it can be really cool, the type of sculpture that you can make, okay? Um, and if you have a different version that you want to do, have a different idea that comes up that you'd like to use with your tubes for your sculpture, please go ahead. I always like to see your own versions and your ideas because it makes me think, oh my gosh, I never thought about that before. So take a look at this video, get all the things you need together, come back, watch the video again if you need to, and um, do your sculptures. I would love to see pictures of these. If you can send them via email, if your mom and dad or whoever's home, your adult can take a picture, maybe a big sister even, sister or brother. I would love to see what you come up with. Um, and that way I can keep track of everyone and see how well you're doing at home. I miss you, I appreciate you so much, and I'm so glad that we still get to do art together. It means so much to me, and I hope it means a lot to you. Um, I'm glad you're doing well, I'm glad you're staying inside. Stay positive, it springs here, so it's gonna be nice seeing a lot of sunshine, and I'm gonna bring art to you every week, okay? Miss you, I appreciate you, I hope you're well. I, I, let's see. I am grateful for you, and I'm grateful to be able to do art with you. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye.